May God bless you. Today, I'm going to bless you with the three most powerful prayers that exist. The Our Father, the prayer that our Lord Jesus taught us. Psalm 23, the Psalm of Prosperity. And Psalm 91, the Psalm that contains the greatest promises of deliverance for your family. Leave in the comments the names of your family members for us to pray for them. Prepare your heart for us to pray the three most powerful prayers that exist. Let's create the largest prayer chain. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress my God, in whom I trust. Surely he will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you say, The Lord is my refuge, and you make the most high your dwelling, no harm will overtake you, no disaster will come near your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands, so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the cobra. You will trample the great lion and the serpent. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him. I will protect him, for he acknowledges my name. He will call on me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Almighty God, under the blessing of the Our Father, under the blessing of Psalm 23, and under the blessing of Psalm 91, I want to pray for this life. Now, we form a great chain of faith. My God, may the blessings of the prayer that you taught us reach this person. May the blessings of Psalm 23, the psalm of prosperity and open doors, the psalm that declares that you will lead us to green pastures, reach this person. I ask that you guide this person to a season of prosperity so that their cup overflows. Under the blessings of Psalm 91, I ask you to send your angels to encounter this person, to break all bonds of evil, all traps, and all curses. As the promises say, no harm shall befall them. I pray that you protect this person's family and home. I bless you now with the blessing of the Father, the blessing of the Son, and the blessing of the Holy Spirit. Say now, I receive. I take possession. Amen. Thank God.